Station Hub, and we're back on the floor of the Northeast Trade Show. And we've wandered into the Valspar booth today to talk a little bit about the paint products that they have to offer. And I'm hoping to learn a little bit more about it. I've heard from a few of you on the website that you're making a conversion to their products, something I haven't sprayed, and I kind of take it as a challenge to paint everything out there on the market. Um, so I've stopped by Mike Campbell, who Valspar is going to talk to us today about some of the products you have to offer. Mike, thanks for joining us. I know it's a busy show. Yeah, thank you, Kristen. This, uh, the Chevy, and we'll show a little bit of pictures of it later. The Chevy you've got in the booth is drawing quite a bit of attention today. Um, tell me a little bit about the lines that you guys have that you're showing here. Uh, Valspar offers primarily three different lines. Uh, our high-end European line is De Beer, where we have a solvent-based system and a De Beer water-based system. Uh, we offer the Valspar line, which is just to my right. Uh, it's a, uh, a solvent line, a domestic system that uh, offers very good color match at an affordable price. And then we have a house of color line, which is specialty paint, uh, which is on the uh, car behind. Right. We had a, a little bit of time at SEMA to spend with Shimmering too, and it was uh, it's very impressive. And I think right now it's being featured on uh, Speed Network's new show, Car Warriors. Absolutely. So uh, our friend Rich Evans out there uh, doing some painting, and George Bear is doing some judging. So I know they're really excited. Um, I've been getting some great feedback on the De Beer line. Um, and it was kind of surprising, something I wasn't really familiar with. What's kind of the history of De Beer and, and, and kind of how your water is integrating the shops right now? Uh, De Beer is a hundred year old company. Valspar acquired the company about seven years ago. Uh, but De Beer is exported into 140 different countries worldwide. We've had it in the U.S. now for about six or seven years. Our first uh, U.S. based uh, user is actually standing right over there and I, I hope you get a chance to talk to him. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to having a chat with him. I know that uh, you know we like to talk product but we really like to hear from the people that are using it day in, day out, collision repair, because that's where they're really makes a difference is okay can I implement this and then can I do production with it you know four to five cars a day um, what are so your experiences with the line what are some things that have impressed you so far uh, well you know I listen to our customer base a lot and, and they love the water based line uh, primarily because of the color match all the toners are the same price uh, it's a very easy system to use it's a very easy water transition I uh, just need a little bit of airflow in the to uh, ensure that it dries and other than that it, it's a very similar product to the solvent now one of the things I'm hearing from the shops on our website that have made uh, some of the conversion to your product is that they've won, they've been super impressed with the color match and the coverage that they're getting, but that they're experiencing a, a nice price savings, that there is a difference in the pricing of the products compared to, I think, what we're traditionally seeing in the industry. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shops can make money on their paint again, and I think over the years the price of paint has gotten inflated so much. Uh, but here's a good quality paint that uh, was created in Europe and uh, it, it's saving shops money all over the world. Oh, that's amazing. So any other uh, any other tips or things you want to share with some shops out there that might be thinking about looking at the system and, and, and what it's going to do for their shop? Yeah, you know, De Beers brand is rapidly growing in the U.S. and it'll continue to grow, but uh, I would definitely take a look at it. Uh, you will save money on your paint bill. Uh, you'll be very impressed with the product and uh, we look forward to uh, meeting you. Perfect. Well, thanks for taking the time. I'm going to get to the shop owner because I want to hear about his conversion process and his experiences with the product and uh, share it with the rest of the, uh, of the website. So thank you so much for the time. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. We're back out on the show floor and as promised, uh, Vincent Evangelista from uh, from New Jersey here has been spraying the product for how many years now? For seven years. Has joined us to kind of talk about his experience with it. Um, you know, we, we all hear about new products yeah, definitely, yeah. and we read them in the magazine, but then ultimately it comes down to how does it implement with the collision repair and, and work with the workflow. So seven years now on the product. Seven years on the product. Excellent, excellent product. The color matches are incredible. Gloss retention on the clear is incredible, and it's a great value of the product. Excellent value. Now you said you were doing both lines. So you got the solvent and the water in the shop. We have both solvent and waterborne. Um, probably about a 50-50 split in both products, and uh, both products excellent value for the moment. Absolutely great product. So no issues with uh, like longevity warranty. You're still feeling that you have the same quality. And no, no. Um, absolutely, a, they stand behind everything they sell. Um, do not have any quality comeback issues with the product. Um, like I said, I have no fear of putting it on any vehicle. We do a lot of high-end vehicles, a lot of European, and uh, it's a great product. So through the, so I guess the four, the seven years, you kind of, um, you had something else, and then you made the switch. What were some of your concerns going into the switch that maybe might help other shops trying to make some decisions? Well, the concerns were, um, we weren't really familiar with the Valspar name. Um, they had done a lot more with the industrial and commercial coatings. 
prior to this line. And once the line was introduced in the United States, we were one of the first shops in the Northeast to have the line. And um, not knowing many other shops that had the line um, was a concern, but now we're very comfortable with the line. Using all our locations here in New Jersey. All right. How do your, uh, you know, I guess the test of any shop is, is we look at products and we think they're great, and then painters are their own little kind of culture. I was one for about 10 years, and, and changing my paint booth uh, kind of overwhelmed me sometimes. How have your painters felt about the product uh, spraying it in your shop? Well, initially, when we bring a painter in, um, most of them don't have experience with the product because, uh, as you know, there's four major paint lines that cover most of the United States. Um, so at first, uh, they're not sure about the product, but they become comfortable with it usually within the first week or two. And uh, in fact, the word spreads among painters once they try the product. That's right. so what I'm experiencing right now. Kind of some of our members, the painters are now kind of raving about it. Which is, if you can win a painter over, that's uh, that's half the battle right there. Yeah, absolutely. What have, um, what experiences did you have kind of on, on the cost of your paint material bills? Have you noticed that you're able to kind of keep more of your profits? Well, I can tell you that um, probably there's at least a 20% savings over the material I was using prior to the Valspar and the beer line, and uh, absolutely uh, it makes a difference, especially in these times, the, with these lean conditions, and it makes a kind of big difference. How long have you been using the water product? The water product, we've had it for about 18 months now. Any uh, any issues with kind of spraying water? Did you have to make any major changes, or did um, it just integrate seamlessly for you? Pretty much seamlessly. Um, there wasn't any major equipment changes. Um, we did increase a little bit of the volume of the air in the shop, but other than that, um, it dries basically with the movement of the air in the spray with the volume of the air. It can dry without any additional equipment. It works well. If you had to make any recommendations to any shops considering uh, looking at the product, do you have anything that you'd, you'd want to share with them? I'd say try it as soon as you can. Start, start your savings today if you could. Absolutely, what I would do. Well, that's great. Hey, I appreciate the time. I know um, shop to shop uh, means more to a lot of people than anything we could ever share with them, you know, from a technical perspective or from a manufacturer's perspective. So I appreciate your time. Well, thank um, you. Stay tuned with us for the rest of the show. We've got a few more products that we want to show you and a couple more special interviews coming your way. We'll be back shortly.